Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of X4 and just quickly if you notice here this is what we're going to be concentrating on today well mentioning today you notice this little uh, asteroid I'm circling with my mouse here you notice it was sp twinkling I, I just said to notice it because that mining ship's about to obliterate it that is when I'm when I'm about to tell you about the sparkle that you notice on asteroids that is the sparkle I mean that little white dot that was flickering and if you missed it rewind the video and you'll see it on the video however today i'm going to talk about a couple of tips on what to do next a couple of tips on what you could have done whilst we're up to this stage or what you can do at this stage and we're also going to start setting ourselves up ready for the next operation which is going to be doing some serious mining operation to get in some serious money because obviously at the moment we're selling our unrefined ores to people we want to sell refined ores and make more money so hopefully we can get to this asteroid here before our ship gets there but the first thing i want to talk about is crystal farming now obviously i've said to you before I've, i'm talking about many ways on how you can play this game the majority of playing the game has been all about sitting in the map menu and doing everything by hand there you know not really getting involved in a ship or doing anything like that the other thing you can do is crystal farming which is another good way of making money now, I'm pretty sure I saw this asteroid twinkle a second ago. That looks like it's got a fair bit of ore on it. But if you go around and look for that little twinkling that we saw on the asteroid, you find that these asteroids have crystals on them. Yep, there we go, crystal there. So the crystals are color-coded to the value that you get for them. Um, let's get this one here. We just shoot the crystal off, like so. And then we obviously want to collect that crystal. Pressing our O button, which is our like little hoover. And you, you just want to have a look around the asteroid, make sure there's no other crystals on there. Oh yeah, there's some more I think there, or unless that's just what's left of what we've just got. Oh, it looks like we're getting more off it. Are we getting more off it? No, that's, that's completely gathered now. That's fine. So you can go around looking for... There we go. You can go around looking for them crystals on the asteroids. And obviously each one will have a different colour crystal on it. Some of them will have multiples. I have found two or three sometimes on an asteroid unless they've changed that. But then if you go to your inventory where we had previously. Go to your player information. To your... Here, personal inventory. Agulite crystal. Pretty sure that's the most expensive one. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's a good priced one. But that's 225,000 credits. So, what we're getting on a large mining ship, we've just got there for about 10 seconds of work. Obviously, the downside to doing it this way is you've got to go out there, you've got to find the asteroids, you've got to keep an eye out for the little twinkly lights. If you're in a high populated area, it's usually quite tough to find them because the mining ships will blow up the asteroids that they're on to obviously gather resources, and sometimes the asteroids are on resource asteroids. Sorry, the crystals are on resource asteroids. Um, so, you, your best bet is to try and find somewhere quiet with a lot of asteroids, a good asteroid field, and just fly yourself through it, finding the crystals. When you go back to your station, you can then visit a trading area where we bought the seminars and you can sell them straight to the traders there and make yourself your money. I think it'll also, if you're a higher rep, you get a little bit more money as well, but I could be wrong on that. So that's the first little point I want to point out today. I know a couple of people mentioned it in the comment section, so I just wanted to cover it so that everybody knew how to do it. And obviously that the option is there for people to do things manually. Let's scare ourselves away from this asteroid before we cripple ourselves. So we'll just get out of space here. And we'll pop up. Hit our enter key. Get up. We'll let our little captain dude to go back in there. Because we've got a couple of other things we want to concentrate on today. Hello there. So, you'll notice as well. Asteroids are starting to pop up on our radar. You can find unstable crystals around. Ooh, space fly eggs as well are popping up on the radar as well. You can find them on there that other ships have found and not bothered with, so you can do it that way. But that's one thing we can do. Now, the other couple of things that we've got to concentrate on today, I've already set up one thing. 
Well, I've actually set up two things ready to go through. First one is our new Elite Vanguard fleet that we have. I say fleet, please, that's with exclamation marks there because it's not a fleet. It is just 10 ships that I built, or 8 ships I think, that I built. And I sent them all out into different places, they're not actually in a fleet. You could add them to a fleet if you wanted to, but I've set them all up so that they're all in new sectors. And they are all exploring the new sectors. As you can see. In areas we hadn't looked at before. And the reason for this is. We have five new mining ships that I've bought. I've bought five large miners. Now I did mention somebody I don't prefer the large miners. They have the purpose. I don't tend to like them because they can fill up. Uh, they take a while to fill up and if you lose them that's a lot of a lot of ore that you're going to lose in one hit with smaller ones are a lot quicker to use but for this purpose i've just hit the large ones just so that we don't have to have lots of little ones so i can kind of go through things a little bit easier down to your own preference that you can use smaller ships more smaller ships which obviously cost a little bit more in the long run that carry less but obviously have less risk of losing resources and they tend to be a little bit quicker sometimes as well especially in terms of if you're using three or four in the same area sometimes they hold up the docks and it's a little bit harder now the one thing i want to concentrate on today is the three grand exchange now those of you who have completed the story uh, for the first mission will know that the grand exchange is obviously an area of great interest to us anyway those of you who haven't you've got that to come and i won't spoil it for you but the Grand Exchange is the area where we want to be working out, as well as, obviously, our Argon Prime. Depending on what faction you choose as well will also depend on what area you want to work in. For mining, this is my next point of call, so I'm going to get myself three large miners, and I'm going to place them into the areas. So one, two, and three. Now these are mineral miners, they're not gas miners, I've not built gas miners yet. Uh, now we have a couple of other areas being scouted but i'm not too worried about them yet i'm going to keep one of the miners in reserve for now and i'm going to place another one in another area it actually i'm correction no that is why i wanted to save one i'm actually going to send two miners into this area here and there now they're going to sit there and do nothing at the present moment because i've built the mining ship so i can show you where i want to take them and where our little ships currently wandering around scouting out the area making sure there's nothing else in there the next call for us is to use this area here to have a look what's in there so we're gonna get our elite vanguard now i've sent the elite vanguard to the shipyard to the wharf i've got some advanced satellites in it and obviously we've already got some resource probes in there as well first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into this sector and i'm going to drop a standard satellite and we've only got one of these left I'm going to send a standard satellite in there, and then I'm also going to drop a resource probe in there. The next point of call I'm going to have is I'm going to stop, drop, start dropping advanced satellites in areas of high traffic. So, for example, the Grand Exchange has got a lot of high traffic in these areas here. So I will set them up so you can see where I've targeted them. This area here, it's got a Argon equipment dock, so that's going to be another area that I'm going to decide to put another advanced satellite. So there's a few areas we're going to start putting advanced satellites in. And the reason for that is, is they'll pick up on the trade for us, they'll also pick up on traffic that's coming in and stuff like that. You don't need to use advanced satellites, you can use the standard satellites as well. But I had a little bit of extra cash, so I decided to buy the bigger version ones. They're, they're a little bit more reliable, a little bit better, and they, they obviously cover a little bit more of a range. Now, the other thing I want to concentrate on today is our construction here. Now, I said in the last episode, now that we've got a manager, it's going to start dealing with funds for us. And I know we're a little bit back and forth on this episode, but I want to try and get as much as possible in this small episode as I can. But the main one for me was to talk about the, uh, the, the, the money that we're making now with our little power plant, our little solar power plant. And if we go to our... You can do it from the screen here, obviously. Property owned. But you can obviously go to the sector as well but we're on our property owned and we're going to right click and hit the information now you'll notice our station account now i've put no money in the station account for, apart from the amount that we put in previously and if you remember the amount that we put in is far less than what's in there now so everything it's made i believe gets split so part of it goes into your personal credits and part of it stays in the station credits 
that's to kind of cover the cost and you know the, the well this operation budget here it's kind of cover that and it holds its own little accounts you can take this out at any stage so you can empty that and it will put it into our budget here you can also add to it and take out of our budget here it's not changed yet because i've not confirmed it but we will confirm it so we'll take everything out we'll confirm that and we've bumped up our own resources there we're safe doing that with this station because if you notice the operating budget for this station is zero credits because remember if you looked at last time we are completely generating everything in-house and our little mining ship here is going out delivering stuff we've also got people coming in buying as well so we don't need to worry about that our little ship's nearly at the jump gate so we can start on the next project soon our mining ships have arrived so they're ready to go and you notice there's a lot of argon fleets around here but we're friendly with argon so we don't need to worry about stuff like that they've got a solar power plant in this area already and they've got a microchip factory that microchip factory may be useful for us at some stage so awaiting orders oh yeah you're waiting to go excellent so as you can see we are now set ready to expand operation everything is covered entering system the reach we've got fleet three miners heading to our grand exchange ready to be put to work they are but all three of them all have mixed areas if you remember the mineral regions we got some minerals sorry not mixed regions sorry they've got mineral regions is what we want to say because obviously we've got our mineral miners there are, there are actually some gas in certain areas but we don't need to worry about it just yet three nice big mineral regions for us there should be some areas here where we can sell we've got graphene there that's holes there we got platronics refined goods um, that may take hmm. all solar plants we'll have to double check these areas and make sure they've got somewhere to sell we've not got all of this done yet so we'll keep an eye out for that silicon refinery there ice refinery there silicon refinery there ice refinery there refined goods silicon okay so this sector here is going to be good for silicon for us we'll have to have a double check and see what the other two areas have got for systems you know like they can take stuff for us but we've definitely got silicon in grand exchange one so that's a good start for us okay our ship's now arrived in the sector and he's now dropped his satellite so as you can see we've now got a nice good view of the satellite area there and he's going to drop the resource probe in there as well so we can see what we've got in the sector what have we got oh i don't know where you're going there you go have you dropped it yep you dropped the resource probe okay and then we're just going to send him back to this system here so he's nice and safe fly to we'll have a look at what our resource probe has Okay, three scanning rings. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Are you going to pop up for me? High tech goods. That resource probe should be giving us some readout, and it's not. Information. Okay. We'll check back up on that in a second. It's not popping up with the resources that are in that area. It may not be picking up resources in that area, but there should be. Entering system. We'll keep an eye on that in a second. Hopefully Iron it'll pop up for us. Orange silicon, you're popping up there. It may take a minute. I'm going to guess there's going to be orange silicon in this area anyway. But you're not showing up for me. Okay, you're gonna be like that that's fine okay so while our little miners are going around i'm going to talk to you what we're going to plan on doing in this area here which is usually quite a good area for it but may not be in your play area we're going to create another station here so we're going to go to our manage plots and we're going to drop another station and we're going to make it a little bit bigger this time we're going to try and see if we can get it 
So we create the plot. I'll just create the plot. I don't want it too close to there, so we'll plonk it just there. 512,000 credits. So we'll buy our little station. The Reach Factory. Okay, fantastic. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to set ourselves up with some... Awaiting orders. So we have refined metals, which we got from the last time, if you remember. But we need ourselves a dock module. So that's our first thing we're going to get is a dock module. I'm going to put it nice and close to our top corner. Maybe move it a little bit more. I want it as close to this corner as I possibly can, so it's out of the way a little bit. Okay, we'll get our secondary dock corridor. Rotate it around. There we go. You don't have to rotate it, you can make it whatever you want it to be. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some storage modules. We're going to want some solid storage. And we're going to put some container storage in. Like so. That should be within the limits. Just about within the limits for not disrupting our docking procedures, which is good for us. Now, here is your choice on what you want to do. Now, you can choose to do energy cells on this one as well, so it produces its own energy cells. But what we're going to try and do is we're going to just plonk ourselves a base module. And we rotate it around. There we go. Oh, you connected. Excellent. We're going to put a cross module on here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop myself. Uh, no, I forgot how big they are. So we'll put, plonk another couple of base modules here. Another couple of cross modules here. There, and then I'm going to get my refined metals. I'm going to plonk one there and one there. Now it may look like it's all higgly piggly, but if you actually rotate it, you'll notice they're actually connected from below and they go just above. So it's connected there and it's connected there. It's nice and compact, we still have plenty of space. The only downside to these T junctions is they, they, they take up so much room, but we've got all this area here to be able to do some expansion. Obviously, we've got the refined metals now, so that's what we want. So if we confirm, yeah, we've got all that. So we'll confirm module changes. So that's set, ready to go. And then what we want to do is if we go back to it. Now, I tend to do that because if you don't, and you decide actually to carry on doing other stuff, and you click off it by mistake, you'll lose everything you've done. So just confirm the module changes once you're happy with it. Now we need to assign a builder. So let's get ourselves a builder by zooming out. And we have to, uh, have we got one there? Yep, there we go, one there. So we'll select you. We've now got our builder. Resources needed and managed by offers. Estimated price to buy all resources. Well, we haven't got all the money, but what we'll do is we'll give them as much of the money as we've got. So we can at least start building. Now, what we want to do is we want to reduce the price of energy cells right down to 10 credits. That won't change too much because obviously energy credits are the cheapest, but it means that we will more than likely provide our station with the, with the credit, with the cells that we can purchase from our own station it may not do it because it's still thinking about the trade prices that we're selling ourselves at and obviously technically that would be a loss if we sold to ourselves but what we can do is we can manually set our worker to deliver some to us and that's what we're going to do now and this is the reason why i'm covering this today so refined metal production we're going good here everything's set absolutely fine for what we want it obviously needs the resources. We've got a delivery of Claytronics already on its way in. Let's drop ourselves back onto the map. Let's find our little... Oh, we're in Argon Prime already. So let's find our little trading ship. 
we're gonna trade words with we're gonna take a full storage of energy cells way more than what we need for our station but obviously we want to expand it at a later stage we're then gonna right click here now if you remember I mentioned about there being two op two options there's a trade with build storage uh, sorry there's normally there's two options there isn't at the moment you can transfer words or trade with if you transfer words is exactly the same as trade with for us no changes whatsoever trade with is if we want to sell the station's stuff to us but we'll get we're not paying for it so it doesn't really matter that's if you got like a an ai or something like that oh, let's just rotate it back around and put it on its end what i mentioned about there being two options was obviously with a station that's already producing something so this here you can trade with one or the other or transfer station transfer words with one or the other should i say because we want to use this option here we've got no money on the other station so it'll end up not paying for it so and you're paying for yourself so it doesn't really matter so but that's the options you've got so when you see that then that's the difference between the build storage and the normal obviously the normal factory a build storage is that little section that's floating out in space that they're going to use to build so we've given it plenty of energy cells so it, it, that's all it needs for energy cells we don't need to touch that now never build itself now it's not good enough money at the moment so we're gonna to have to remember to add more money to it as we get it but obviously we're a little bit short on cash because we've just built five large mining ships and obviously we've got the the money that we've paid to get the land but we have got our ships approaching the sectors here now i'm gonna we've got two in the area so i'm gonna right click this one and go to information this is the last thing we're gonna to do today right click its behavior i'm gonna tell it to sector auto mine and i'm going to try and see if it'll do nvidium nvidium should i say we'll just see if it can pick up nvidium i'm going to do now we know there's three silicon factories in this sector so i'm going to tell this one to sector auto mine and to pick up silicon there's also the option for ice as well but we'll just do silicon for now and we may move one of the mining ships in what from one of these sectors if they struggle down into here to do ice Awaiting our orders. third mining ship still hasn't made it round yet is that you no you're in the right sector you're still heading out you're mining ore yep you're fantastic doing good I'm not quite sure where our other mining ship is have a look so we got one two and three. Oh, you're still there memory profit so you still not made it but what we'll do is, is whilst he's on his way we'll just set his thing up ready to go right click behavior sector auto mine where's or just remember he's not in the right sector so just click your anchor space you can click on that there and it changes it there sector grand exchange four click ok click confirm just double check that before you do just do that because obviously he's in a different sector you're set right and you're set right so we'll let them just plod along and try and hopefully get some resources this sector here and this sector here still haven't been fully found by the ships that i've placed in there so hopefully they'll clear up and give us some more idea on what factories there are i have no idea where the ship's gone from this sector however he was in here so maybe he's been taken out i'll have a look at the logs off camera and see what's happened to him we've got ships scouting all the areas now we're getting a bigger picture on the areas so hopefully we're going to be moving some credits around looks like our drone miner here what are you doing behavior so you're gathering resources but you look like you've took a hit maybe you haven't yeah you took a hit probably crashed into an asteroid that does happen 
So hopefully that's giving you a little bit of an insight into what's happening next, how to expand your resources and how to gather more um, without crippling yourself. We've still got investments in all of our ships, so if we start struggling with money, then we could just sell our ships back. But you're not going to. you got an income, always got income coming in. We're now ahead of what we're using in cost-wise. You know, we've got no keep on this stuff, so we're absolutely fine. Um, we've got our second station on its way. Obviously, in the next episode, we'll have a look and see how that station's doing. We'll set it all up, and hopefully we'll start seeing ourselves with some more profit coming in from there, especially from that area. We may need to expand its um, storage and its production capacity. But hopefully, that should bring us in plenty of money, because we've got not only have we got a, a way to refine our own metals, our own ores, we've also got the ability to then sell that somewhere else so we can buy ourselves some some transfer ships some trading ships sorry and pass them on to the ai so hopefully that gives you an idea with the crystals with the map uh, with the money making on your stations and with using the advanced satellites i know we've only dropped one advanced satellite in the moment here what i will do is i will just before we go set up so that we can have these sectors here so all i do is i tend to drop them right by the gates first and then I will drop them by. Now this is good because that gives us the gates and a couple of factories as well. But you do want to just drop them around to like places like that there. As you can see, it'll just queue it up. You can see them there. Another look, good location is there. So my ship will now just go around dropping these satellites off. Especially in an area like this, because this is the area we're going to be working in. Drop a satellite there. I want to definitely drop one there. And it's just a case of getting them all around. Uh, yeah, we'll drop one at that jump point as well. Bear in mind, at the moment, we've not had too much problem with the enemies. What we will do, so, you know, we, we need to be able to see when they're coming. Let's just system drop site. another satellite in this sector here. And then I'm just going to drop one by the tra Taladi trading station because that will bring in good trading uh, potential for us. And hopefully our ships won't be standing Already around vision. as much as it used to. Obviously our, sh our ships are still low level at the moment so we're still struggling with you know, getting them all done. And then we're just going to park ourselves next to our station there okay so that's our advanced satellites being deployed in grand exchange hopefully that gives us a little bit of a more out view of what we've got in that area i'd say hopefully this is giving you some idea on what to do next if you've got any questions or comments please make sure you hit me up in the comment section or if you'd like to have some you know in-depth help or anything like that then make sure you hit the discord button um, and hopefully i can help you out with anything but until next time everybody take care for now and i'll see you all on the next one bye bye for now